Hi, this is Jesse Barkasy. It is uh, December 9th, 2012, and I haven't done a video in a while since um, my car video because basically my camera, my video camera, when we went to Dominican Republic, it got lost in the baggage. Um, so I'm trying to think of what kind of camera should I get, just another uh, little small one to carry around or maybe a better, higher quality one where I can um, do some video manipulation. Uh, but today, uh, uh, you know, I want to just talk about, you know, the, uh, this, you know, the Mayan calendar and all that coming up and it's all, it's all superstition. Okay. You know, I, I see these people and they make money, uh, putting scare, you know, giving, making scare tactics. Um, uh, same thing with, um, you know, how the government is all out to get us and all that stuff and, you know, <laughs> And you, you, I just don't believe it, okay? You know, I, I know the government makes some bad decisions that work against us. And I know that, you know, it might appear to people that it's like a conspiracy. You know, I lost my job eight years ago and I've been, you know, pretty much back and forth with businesses. And thank goodness I could trade stocks because I've uh, made some, you know, stock gains here and there where I put it in the bank and that pays, you know, the expenses for a few months so that's you know what I do and um, you know thinking about other professions trying businesses and so forth uh, making the videos like I am now you know trying to find myself still and, and at the same time watching my two boys who are eight years old and four so you know I'm putting a lot of time into that it's been like a dream so I and if you look at it that way I've lived better than some millionaire and billionaire spending so much time with my boys which is a nice thing that I'll never regret or forget. Um, but, you know, these BS about, um, you know, conspiracy theories. I just, I, I, you know, there's all these hearsay evidences and, and, all, and all some of the predictions. You know, one day one of the predictions will be right and they're going to say, oh, see, you should have believed it. But in my opinion, predictions and superstition is pretty much just a waste of your time. And it's, I think, for people to hide in the fact when, you know, their lives aren't going the way they want it to. I mean, my life isn't going the way I want it to, exactly. You know, there's things that I wish I could change. Um, and I am changing. Um, but I'm not going to hide and say, oh, it's because of the government. You know, I mean, I live in the United States. You know, I can start any business I want. It takes a little bit of paperwork, a little bit of money, and some effort. And that's it. So, you know, I've got to blame myself. Uh, for anything that goes, you know, right or wrong. And, you know, people also think, you know, these conspiracy theories about health. Like, you know, the government's going to give you these shots that are bad for you and this and that. And, you know, it's just a matter of numbers. There are a certain amount of people who are, you know, going to get ill. They're going to get cancers, this and that. And, yes, some of the stuff that people get might be from the tap water or... You know, things in the air or things in the foods they ate, if they ate those foods in overabundance. But I don't believe it's a conspiracy theory. I just think, you know, you know, just like cigarettes aren't a conspiracy theory. They're no good for you, but, you know, it, they're so bad and it's so direct, the evidence, that the government has finally stepped in and said, listen, warning, you know, these things can kill you. So, um... That's my spiel for today. I, you know, I, these end of the worlders and all this. One of the, these days, it'll be true, but you know, trying to predict it is impossible. So, you know, my suggestion is to get up and act like the world's going to be there next year, and you know, you do something about it, and take care of yourself. So, you know, stop wasting time on these things. You know, I. I I think about the very, very wealthy people. Uh, one of the guys I follow, uh, you know, they you know they start these businesses, and their businesses depend on the world being here and being fairly prosperous for the next you know few years. So to be a successful person as far as business or money goes, I think you have to be pretty optimistic. Um, and so. If you're not, then you have a trait that's not conducive of being successful. So, you know, number one, expect the world to be here next year. And, you know, 
try to do something so that when that time comes, you'll be in a better place. You know, and I'm not saying don't enjoy today. Enjoy today. That's what I, I've done. I mean, I spent so much time with my kid. It's wonderful. And, you know, unfortunately, I'm, you know, looking at certain jobs and certain businesses, I might have a little less time for them, um, which is going to be unfortunate because it's like a, a dream. But I have to do what I have to do. So that's kind of my spiel for today. I hope it came out right in this video to get, you know, these conspiracy theories and these end of the world predictions and these, uh, you know, the government against you things out of your head and start actively, you know, doing something. Write to your senator, your congressman if you don't like something. You know, write to them. Uh, speak out. Do a YouTube video and say something. I think our government is trying very hard, would love the United States to be prosperous. I just think they don't know what to do sometimes and they don't know how to do it. So, they don't realize that, you know, lowering taxes or getting, you know, burdens away from small businesses will make a lot of small businesses grow. So, and I also, you know, feel like sometimes the bigger businesses lobby so that doesn't happen because they don't want the competition. But, uh, you know, so you got to speak up and say, hey, you know, give these small businesses a break. And, you know, that's the kind of thinking I think that will, uh, you know, get you out of this muck of, conspiracies. Now, if the government's doing something wrong with chemicals or something and you think it's wrong and you have scientific evidence, well, write it and present it, you know. Put it out on YouTube. Make a web page. Cost 20, 30 bucks. Or find somebody who has one who's interested in these things and put it out as, you know, specific proof. But, you know, these outlandish things that, you know, oh, you see this little dot in the picture? Oh, that proves this. You know, you know come on. Come on. You know, oh, the planes are putting something in the air. Well, you know what? Pilots would know this, and pilots would be putting videos out about this. It wouldn't be secret. They'd say, oh, yeah, that's a, you know, chemicals are putting. So, I mean, I just, you know, I think it's a big waste of time. And, you know, I think we're so lucky to have things like businesses and the stock market and things like that where, you know, we have all these wonderful things, you know, heat and air conditioning and pure water sent to us. I mean, it's like a dream. If somebody, you know, three, four hundred years ago saw how we were living, they would think it was like a magical dream, you know. And uh, also, you know, to enjoy the outdoors is a good thing too. But to be protected in a nice, safe, warm or cool house and have lighting at night and things like that, it's just, you know, it's like a dream. So this negativity that's going around, I don't understand it. <laughs> I just don't understand it and I think people get caught in it because they want to feel like that they're you know totally at the mercy of you know what governments are doing around the world and this and that and, and you're not you know it's you live and you produce and you try to do good and that's what I'm trying to do with this video to get people a little uplifted thank you and have a great day